We treat our women so bad and so horrible as if Islam didn't teach it. The ethics of morality and teaching and kindness should be at the yoke of the father. Exhibit that to the woman, especially. The way we scold our women is even terrible and terrifying and absolutely, you know, quagmiatic. It is not right what we do. You leave everything to your, to your wife. At the same time, she go to the market. She go to the laboratory. You know what laboratory? I call the kitchen laboratory. Gone are the days we call kitchen kitchen. It's laboratory, man. <laughs> they put milk, soup, banana, tomatoes, onion, oil. They fix something magically. You get a beautiful food. That's laboratory, man. Don't be calling them no kitchen. It's laboratory. She do all this thing. It's a science. And you come down and open your wide mouth. You eat it. But you don't. Give her credit. Uh, and even some, some of them say, Allah, well, like, should ah. <laughs> There's no salt in there's that. There's no salt in that in food. That <laughs> it is ethic. Even if there is no salt, if she bring the food, you know what she's going to do as a husband? The good husband, sensible husband, that is rationally in clean husband. What you got to do if she bring food that maybe it doesn't taste good? The moment you put it in your mouth, Asha'Allah, Alhamdulillah, mm, it's good. Bah Akbar. She will say, really, you love it? Masha'Allah. She'll be happy because she spent all these hours in laboratory trying to chemicalize something for you. And you come, no, there's no salt. This is what? You kill her inside and out. Mm. And how do you think she's gonna, you know, become a better woman? Talk to her nicely. The food is good, mashallah. This is different. But the, the, the salt should be a little bit, you know, I don't like salt medically, this and that. But alhamdulillah, she's okay, inshallah. That's a good correction. Instead of coming out strong on her as if she's nobody. No, she's something. Without the woman, you're gonna fail. And be careful with her because she was created from the upper top of the ribs. The upper top is so round. The lower one is a little bit curved. The next one, but the upper one is more curvy. If you try to straighten her, you're going to break her. Mm. And if you leave her on strain, she's going to keep curving and curving and curving. And she's going to mess up. And you are the one that make her to mess up. So you find a way. So I'll, inshallah, I know <coughs> Ibrahim Halifa want to say something. Yeah, right. sure, sure, sure. What about the men? Right. <laughs> Who don't even give it like they don't give chop money? First of all, he doesn't give chop money to the kids or even the mother. The mother suffer. So I have a case right here at the office of Peace Dower Media that was just last week. Yeah. The, the, the husband only gave 1.5, 150 for one month. Check what are you what? going to Yeah, for one month. And she has two kids. Man, we know the economy, <laughs> economic <laughs> strength. Kids. We know the economy of the nation. Uh, they say in one of the proverbs, it is raining, but the ground is so very hard. You understand that. It is up to you, the man, the way you sit down with her, the way you talk to her. You know, when you have a lot of money, give her, buy her a lot of things. Why would Allah say that you, are we are so happy, Ar-Rijal, yeah, of course, fine. I tell the woman, fine, Ar-Rijal, men are a degree above the woman, fine. It is your responsibility as you are above her, according to what you believe in, you have to give her a place, a dwelling, where to sleep. Give her a beautiful curved TV. Mm -hmm. Give her clothing. Give her the best food to nourish her because she's going to carry your children and your children need nourishment for them to come out healthy. You have to feed her, clothe her and protect her. That's all she needs. But to leave here without any pocket money, without sometimes they give, let, let's say, uh, one dollar or ten dollars. Okay, that's it. That's all what I got, man. Listen, what are you going to do? She go and steal, and the women, may Allah's mercy be upon them and protect them because sometimes they sell their clothing. The mm -hmm. clothes that they brought in their house when they were in wedding, they carry it on their head. They go to the next, next township, they sell it, Khalifa, just to feed your own children. And at the same time, <clears throat> they don't respect it. Change. Otherwise, the change will be upon you. It's going to be a time that you're going to put your hand on your head. That woman, she's your protector. She's your friend. She's your wife. She's someone that you... What did Allah say? Women are yatihi and halak alakum min anfusukum azwaja. Litaskunu ilayha wa ja'ala baynakum mawadda wa rahama. Inna fi zalika la ayatin liqawmin etafakkaroon. I like the last verse. This is a sign for those who think and reflect. Why did Allah mention love first? Mawadda mm. wa rahama and then rahama. You know, if you see a woman, you don't go say, I have mercy on you. No. You say, I love you. So the love is there because she looks so beautiful, so pow, 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 pow,
beautiful cemetery. You love it and you marry her. The moment she begins to have children for you, first son, second son, third son, then what happened? She begin some of her parts, her body parts begin to bulge and she becomes so, so bulgy and everything and she lose her beauty the, the first time you met her. What you gonna do? Divorce her? Allah said, Warahama. That's the type that you exhibit mercy. Think about yesterday. How was she yesterday? Now she got your children and she, 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 she changed a little bit. Rahama. Then Allah said, In the la adil But this all Allah have said, it is for those who think and reflect deep and look at what went down before she became like this. So, yes, men, I think we should change, inshallah. Inshallah, Sheikh, um, there is one question from Tanku Asim. Ashim. 